Hello everyone, I'm Bo Han Yu from Peking University. Today I'm going to introduce Event PS, real-time photometric stereo using an event camera. In photometric stereo setup, we have the object and the camera at fixed location while changing the light. By capturing multiple images of the object under different lighting directions, we can estimate the surface normal map of this object. For conventional frame-based photometric stereo, they usually follow one of the following two lighting setup. One is to move the light source with a robot arm and scan the lighting direction densely. This one has the best accuracy, however, it is also very time-consuming. The other is to use multiple flashlights placed at fixed position and turning them on consecutively. This one achieves real-time performance, however, it is also less accurate due to fewer images and low dynamic range. In our event PS setup, we propose to use high-speed and continuously rotating light source. We use an event camera to capture the object illuminated by this light source. The event camera registers the log intensity change of each individual pixel independently. It is famous for the high temporal resolution, high dynamic range, and sparse and compact event representation. However, it only records the intensity changes, while all the current photometric stereo algorithm requires absolute intensity value. How to estimate surface normal with only intensity changes is a challenge to event PS. The key to our solution is to convert each pair of consecutive event into a null space vector. This vector is composed of event triggering threshold and a pair of lighting direction. We have proven that this vector is perpendicular to surface normal. More details can be found in our paper or from the 15 minutes video. For ideal and synthetic event, we can see that all the null space vectors lie perfectly on the tangent plane of the surface normal. However, for the real event camera, we can see the null space vector now has more noises. To solve this problem, we capture multiple events, convert all of them into null space vector, and combining them with SVD algorithm. In this way, we obtain a better surface normal with reduced noise. We build a validation platform to demonstrate the real-time performance of our algorithm. This device rotates the light source at 30 revolutions per second, which is the same as the frame rate of our conventional camera. We can see the real-time estimated surface normal of a rigid and rotating object. And also for deformable object. To verify that our estimated surface normal is not affected by albedo, we paint a white ball with colors. We can also clearly see the wrinkle of a finger and even fingerprint. We also port two deep learning based photometric stereo methods to their event variety. The input for neural network is constructed from the null space vector. Those deep learning variants deal with generic BRDF scenario, which includes cast a shadow interreflection, and specular reflection. As a result, they are more robust and achieves higher accuracy than the SVD algorithm. However, they are also more time-consuming. All the code, data, and 3D printing files for the devices are open source for this project. Those are available from our project page. You can also visit the homepage of our lab to see more interesting projects. Thank you.